Hey everybody, Ronan here. Welcome back to another video. Patch 7 is finally released and I am making my updated modding guide. So if you are new to modding and you are not sure how to go about it, this video is super simple and the in-game mod manager is very easy to use. For those who saw my previous video on how to install mods on PC using Baldur's Gate Mod Manager, the information in that video still works and the Baldur's Gate Mod Manager will actually allow you to install a little bit of more complicated mods, uh, especially things using scripts and things like that. So if you are more advanced when it comes to modding, Baldur's Gate Mod Manager still works quite well and you actually have access to more mods than you would think. Now, for those that are new to this and want you to simply just go into Mod Manager, it's super easy. You just click Mod Manager, you see a bunch of mods, you download and install. You have a section here that says Installed. This will showcase every mod you have installed. I already did a clean sweep. If you're planning to install mods using Mod Manager, I highly recommend you do a clean sweep on your mods because some mods from Baldur's Gate Mod Manager versus the ones installed directly in game may conflict. I'm not sure which ones do or do not because there's thousands of mods for this game, but I highly recommend you do a clean sweep if you are planning to install mods specifically with the mod manager in game. Now, the mod manager in game is actually amazing. You have all kinds of different search filters you can do. You have all kinds of different things between UI, visual, subclasses, tons of character customizations, specific subclasses that are already in game, races, equipment. I mean, there is so much you can do with these mods. It's going to open up your gameplay substantially. Now let's go ahead and start with some things I highly recommend that you already install that are on the front page. That's going to be improved UI. Definitely get this. This just helps visually, especially when it comes to modding. I think it's one of the best mods you can have and mod manager fixes really helps out for any type of glitches and other like minor things like that and visual bugs. So I highly recommend you download those two as well. And for those who don't know how to actually uninstall a mod, it's super easy. Click on installed. If you already had third party mods installed using mod manager, they would be here as well. You can see the mods you already install are enabled automatically. You just simply click it and hit uninstall. That mod is now automatically uninstalled. Go back to your browse. You want to download it again. You click install. Bam. As you can see, already installed. So let's go ahead and download a new type of class. So you can see there's the blood mage right here. But what if you wanted, you know, other type of classes? Well, that's why you have these cool actual like searches you can do. So we're going to search subclasses. And you can see you just have all kinds of different classes automatically come up right there it is super convenient and amazing to do a lot of these sound really sick like demon hunter from world of warcraft like that sounds really fun circle of stars i actually used in my modded playthrough this thing is really fun super overpowered at certain points of the game but also very very fun we're gonna go ahead and download the blood mage though because it sounds really cool so it's a new subclass considered other classes and as, as you can read it says it's a subclass blood knight blood maggots and blood reaver for a brand new class in general the blood mage so this is the one i want to install because this sounds really fun to start out as so that's what we're going to do so i go to my installed mods i only have three installed here i make sure they're all enabled and now we're just going to exit out we're going to go to new game here and we're going to go to tactician disclaimer I probably mentioned it early in the video, but if you are constantly messing with mods, uninstalling and installing mods throughout an already saved playthrough, make sure you back up that save because there is a chance you can corrupt your save. I do want to make sure people are aware that you cannot simply install like a hundred different mods, uninstall them and do all kinds of different things without having any type of trouble. Although it is easy to uninstall and uninstall mods, there is always a chance your file gets corrupted. So please keep that in mind. All right, so I'm in game. I'm going to make a Dark Urge character because a Blood Mage for the Dark Urge just sounds pretty cool. So let's go ahead and go to our classes here. Scroll down. You can see the brand new class that I installed. The Blood Mage is already there, which is really really cool and as you can see from the icons here you already have new spells and cantrips you can use so let's go ahead and check those out 
So we'll go to our spells. We have Demand Sacrifice. Pretty interesting. Rend. Well, that sounds cool. We'll add that in. Rain of Hissing Blood. Ooh. That's really good. Rebellious Flesh. There's a lot of cool stuff. We'll go with uh, Demand Sacrifice. All right. So I am here in game and you can see the mod worked. I have my spells. Let's go ahead and take a look at my character here. So I love this icon. This icon here is just so sick. All right. So I have my constitution 17 strength, 14, 14. Everything you saw at the editor is there. If we go to my spell book, you can see my spells. Looks like I use constitution for my spell casting modifier. Oh my God. That's OP. That is <laughs> wow. That's strong. Holy crap. That is awesome. Let's go ahead and see what some of these spells look like. So rend looks like it's AOE around me. I need a target. We'll go ahead and get in combat real quick so I can showcase it. Just because this sounds really cool. Let's go meet our friend Lazel. Oh my god, Blood Siphon sounds super OP. I'm definitely going to have to do some modded playthroughs of this because this stuff sounds awesome. All right. Thank you, Lazo. Let's go ahead and get in combat here. All right. So we'll go to my character. I'm going to just check out some of these spells. So let's start with Blood Siphon. This is a melee based one, but I'm going to see what it looks like. OK, so basically it's kind of similar to the other melee spells in that sense. But guys, this is how you install mods. I know I'm just like showcasing a little bit of this mod here because I thought it sounded really cool. But that's basically it, guys. I mean, it's super easy to do. So let's go ahead and do demand sacrifice. Oh, my God. What? This thing is insane. Oh, my God. And they all get bleeding. Man, this class is super overpowered. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I'm Ronan. I hope you enjoyed. If you have questions, comment down below and I will try to answer them. And if this video helped you out, definitely let me know. I had a lot of positive feedback from my last modding video. So hopefully this one is also up to quality. See you next time.